you so much to Paula and to Stephanie for inviting me here on this heartwarming day. Whew. Alter Wiener was a Holocaust survivor. He was an author. He was an inspirational educator. He was also a constituent of mine in Hillsboro. He lived close by, and I was lucky enough to call him a friend. I met Alter Wiener years ago while I was on the Hillsboro School Board. My son Jordan was in middle school when he first met Alter and heard his story. So he met Alter before I even did. I remember when Jordan came home that day and he spoke of the visit and the impact that it made on him. So many people have had this privilege of hearing Alter's story and having that same impact over and over. I describe Alter as an inspirational educator of truth. His painful lived experiences were shared with many young audiences across the United States. His hope was that by sharing his painful story over and over, that history would not repeat itself. Alter was concerned to learn from students that they had never heard of this devastating part of our history and even denied it. Alter's determination was to make sure that this was reflected in our curriculum, taught in our schools, and he would work to make that a reality. I am so thankful that Alter and a young lady by the name of Claire Sarnowski successfully advocated and helped pass a bill to address Holocaust and genocide education in schools. When it passed, you felt the powerful feeling that positive change was in the works. Sadly, Alter was not with us. His life was cut short by tragedy. Alter's lessons reached all age levels, from young to the old. He loved talking to kids in school, clerks at our local new seasons, adults wherever he would go. He was a people person. He valued the importance of conversation, the laughter and the love. His hope through Holocaust and genocide education instruction was that we would continue to teach lessons of tolerance, kindness, and love and to strive in his words, and I quote, incessantly to divert the rivers of hatred so that another Holocaust should never, never, never happen again. His kindness, his lessons, his sweet smile made him an easy one to feel love in your heart and feel so grateful that you knew him. I am so pleased that you are honoring Alter and his legacy in this way. It is truly a beautiful memorial. What a great, am amazing monument to his memory in a park where people can walk by through daily, where they can stop, where they can sit, talk to each other, and see his name and his message, and never forget our friend and his mission for tolerance, kindness, and love where people can enjoy a moment of peace. We all need to push for more peace. Thank you so much for being here today and for this beautiful honor for our friend Alter. Thank you.